Vacation coming soon, won't be long before we split the seas again And we all go back home, stay strong, keep enduring Yasha Allah, Hamashiach, could we follow every minute, second hour Giving praises to the Father, there's a spirit deep inside of you Every day is guiding you, bringing all things to remembrance You know, you, you can't resist it, but hear the word of the Lord all right, can you read? The shine more and more into the perfect day. Into the perfect day, right? Until the Lord comes back. How you doing, brother? Good, how are you? You believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. You got a second for the Lord? So what? You got a second for the Lord? Right. I got plenty of seconds. What's your nationality, brother? What's your nationality? African American. So called African American. Where does, where does African American come from? African. African American. What is African American? Scythio Africanus. It's a Roman joke. Yeah. Right, what is America named after? An Italian explorer. His name is America Vespucci. All right. So, how could you be African American? Before African American, they called you Afro American. Before Afro American, they called you colored Negro. All right. All these other names, and it's all in the Bible why they call you. Did you know that? Y'all believe everyone's equal? Yeah. Did the Bible said that. Yeah. You do the wrong thing. Let's see what the Bible says. Alright. Our job is to tell you the truth about the Bible. Alright, we're in the last days and you gotta wake up and, and, and realize who you are. Alright? You're the true the, you're the true Jew. You're the true Israelite to the Bible. All these curses in this Bible is talking about your people. Alright? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Alright, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Look it up. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means separate. Right? Can you read? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord thy God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Because you're the Israelites of the Bible, right? Can you read? Above all people. No, the same. Above all people. No, everyone's equal. Above all people. You're above all people, if you can't already tell. Can you read? Upon the face of the earth. Upon the face of the earth. All right? So everyone can't be equal if the Lord is saying he has a separate people that are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So what y'all think about that? Everybody's equal, man. You still think everybody equal, but you believe in the Bible. So that's contradiction. You see how I'm saying, right? The Bible says everyone's not equal. So maybe you believe more on what you think than what, what the Bible says. You know? What are you trying to preach here? Like I'm, when I'm it finish, comes to... I'm going to show you. You believe in this man? You believe this is Christ? Well, I feel, I feel like there's no... Me personally, I feel like nobody knows exactly what Christ looks like. All right, get Revelation 1 and 14. You know the Bible tells you what he was saying. Did you know that? Revelation 1 and 14. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you nothing out of my mouth. I'm going to tell you everything out of the scripture. Revelation 1 and 14. Get one and one first. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation, what does that mean? What is the word revelation? Huh? The end, this is how it comes to No, pay attention to the word. Revelation. Revelation. What is the first part of the word saying? Revelation. Reveal. Reveal, right? So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Get Revelation 1 and 14. Right. Revelation 1 and 14. Right. His head and his hair were white like wool. So his hair was white and wool. All right. Is that woolly hair? Is that white hair? <laughs> can you read? As white as snow. As white as, is that as white as snow? All right, can you read? <laughs> and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, his eyes was a flame of fire because he drank wine. He didn't get drunk on the wine, but he drank wine. Right, can you read? And his feet like a fine brass. His feet like a fine brass. What color is fine brass? I know what brass color is. It's like a shiny brownish, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, like a, like a goldish brown, right? Can you read? As if they burned in a furnace. So you take that, that, that brass and then burn it in the furnace. Burn it. What color is it going to be? You to tell me on that one. If you take anything and burn it, what color is it going to be? Some things, they actually come up with different colors. I, other, I, than, other, other than black. I want to know something. Other than black. If you burn you're, it. I, I assume that you're going with black. I, I, I'm just going off the scriptures. If you burn anything, it's going to be black. Okay. Like, I can see what you're saying. Maybe heating something up. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Something like that, maybe it'll change color. But if you completely burn something, it's going to be black. It's going to be crispy. Yeah. Right, it's going to be black crispy. So that's the color of Christ. All right, so where does this man come from? I actually read something on it, and it's like, they said the name of the dude, but they relate him to a dude that was like, obviously it wasn't Christ. Right, it's just a his name is Caesar Borges. That's what his yeah, name yeah. is, Caesar Borges. Um, uh, his, what is, I don't know what the story, his, his, uh, 
he he went out with a sister or something like that, and he um I don't know what it is. What, what's what's he uh he, he killed um, his sister's he husband. Killed his sister husband, and then he um he, he married his sister. He married his sister. <laughs> so that's the man they portray as Christ. Y'all got Netflix? Oh, of course. If you go to Netflix. It's a, it's a series on there called The Board James Family. Let me tell you, and it's about his family. How that's made. All right. Job 9 and 24. All right. Job 9 and 24. Right. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. So the whole earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Because right. we're natural born sinners. What? No. 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 There's a specific people that are the wicked. Who, who has the most power on earth? Ultimately, God. Because his so the most high is wicked? God is not the most wicked, but he <laughs> does have the most power. So, what nation of people have the most power on this earth? Without even going into the Bible. It shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Honestly, I feel like America doesn't have the most power. Huh? Sure. America doesn't have the most power. It doesn't have the most power, but there's a group of people that has the most power. I would say the most... Just say it. Uh, it's the so-called white people. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to understand. Uh, maybe the, like, the Bible's going like, to clear it up. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Guess what you gotta say. Bro. Honestly, when you think about it, if China wanted to blow all of us up, they would have the most power. I mean, the, the Bible. This is Babylon the Great in the Bible. But this I'm, place I'm is gonna be saying, destroyed. Like, as of right now, the Chinese by numbers, they would have the most power. But this is gonna show you who the wicked is. Read Job nine and twenty-four. Right, I read it again. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. All right. They cover the faces of the judges thereof. So the whoever this wicked is, they're gonna cover the faces of the judges thereof. All right. It, it, it's as simple as that. Have you ever seen a a, a Chinese Jesus? Have you ever seen a? I mean, <laughs> it's a reason for that because they cover. Have you ever watched the movie about Jesus? What did Jesus look like in the movie? Why do? Yeah, and I just told you the description in the Bible. All right. So why is that? The Lord says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and they cover the faces of the judges thereof. All right. So that's our duty just to tell you the truth straight off the bat. Right? Can you read? <laughs> if not, where is it? Who is it? Right, so if not, if it's not this man, then where, who is it? Who is the most wicked people? Who John, brought up? But let, let's just, let's just really just put John it into, without, without the Bible, let's, without the Bible, let's, let's put it into, what, who took a whole nation of people and put them in a slavery? All right, yeah. who took a whole, look, who, who um came over to a land that they didn't even, that, that, that they didn't conquer? And, and, and it was full of Native Americans, and they killed and wiped them all out, and murdered them, and raped them, and and and, 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 uh, and took over the land and called it America. Did you know that uh, black people actually sold their own people? And, and that's not true. Do you do you believe in that? Do you believe? Look, you, if you if you believe I would sell my sister, that's what you've been told. We're not that's We're what not you've been Catholic. told in school. We're You're not African. African. Okay. <laughs> You're well, Israelite right, of the they, Bible. They sold their own people. No, that's not true. The Israelites of the Bible that's fled in. Uh, the Israelites of the Bible fled into Africa in 70 AD in the West Africa. Your people were sold from West Africa from the native Africans. Y'all want to join us? Your, your people were. Yeah, and, and you see why they don't want to hear it. All Can right. I ask you a question. Hold on. Let me finish. The, let me ask you your first, first question. Yeah, yeah. Your people went into West Africa and were sold into slavery by the native Africans. Why would you? Why would our people sell our own people? Think about that. Think. Think about that, man. And why don't they teach about you before the 16th century or the 15th century? Why don't they tell you who you really are? Because they don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know that you're God's chosen people. All right? It's all in the Bible of everything your people is going to go to. Go, go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. That's your, that's your question? question, you got. So, why are black people out killing black people nowadays in gangs? So, like, we're going into curses, look, that's, that's the spirit. We I'm was just finna get on that. that. Get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'll go to 15. Alright. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass that thou not it says will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it's so it's gonna come to pass, it's gonna happen if we will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? To do what? To observe to do all his commandments. Right. And his statutes. Right. Which I commanded thee this day. Right, that what? That all these curses shall come upon thee. No blessings. No. All these curses shall come upon thee right. and overtake thee. So all these curses are going to come upon God's chosen people. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 46. Come on, get it. 46. 46. Right. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Bring it up. And thou, it says, And they shall be upon thee thy for a sign right. and for a wonder. So these curses are going to be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. 
right? And, and what? Fun by sea forever. So once you hear these curses, you're gonna know who the Israelites are. It ain't gonna be no doubting about it. It ain't gonna you're gonna have to think about it. Alright, it's gonna be all in the Bible. Go to Deuteronomy 2868. Alright? You going in ships on slavery was all in the Bible. Our people coming over to Babylon the Great in a land we never went. We call ourselves African Americans, a name they just gave us 20 years ago. It's all in the Bible. Alright? Since we be calling ourselves a proverb and a byword, right? Get Deuteronomy 2868. Alright, Deuteronomy 2868. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What the Lord's gonna bring us into Egypt again. Now, what does Egypt represent in the Bible? You believe y'all remember Moses part in the Red Sea? What were, what were they fleeing from in Egypt? A plague. A plague. No, it's they a. Afraid of fleeing from slavery. Slavery, right? So from the pharaoh. We, from the pharaoh, right? So we was fleeing this from slavery in the pharaoh. All right, how you doing, brother? All right, so we was fleeing. You came in at the right time. All right, so we was fleeing from slavery. So Egypt represents slavery in the Bible. We gonna prove it in the Bible. I'm not just gonna tell you it. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. Um, so like, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage in the Bible. It represents slavery for our people. All right? So read it again from the top. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt, what did I tell you Egypt meant? Did y'all pay attention? Egypt meant what? I'm going to read it again. Deuteronomy 6 and 12. Then beware lest thou, lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. Bondage means what? Slavery. Right? All right. So bring that up. From the top. Again. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the right. Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. This is in the Bible. The Lord's going to bring us into slavery again. Bondage again. Right? Can you read? With ships. With what? With ships. This is in the Bible, man. It's all in the Bible. We're going to go into slavery on ships. All right? On ships stacked up like that. It's the all in the Bible. Sardine. Right. Can you read? By the way, I spoke unto thee. Right. Thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland Israel anymore. We're going to be sitting in here in America calling ourselves African Americans. All right? Calling ourselves Afro Americans and, and, and just making up names for us. It's a proverb in the Bible word. But really what God's chosen people, the chosen of Israel. All right? Can you read? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Lord said what? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We're going to be sold unto our enemies. For what? For bondmen and bondwomen. For slave man and slave woman. That's in the Bible. All right? Can you read? No, and no man shall buy it. When you go into the word buy, it means redeem. No one's going to save us from this, this captivity. Malcolm X. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. none, of these, none of these people are going to save us from this captivity that the Lord ordained to happen. All right, we're gonna be in the land calling ourselves some nonsense. We really, we God's chosen. We broke out Deuteronomy seven, seven and six before that, brother, saying that we're God's chosen people according to the Bible, and we're above all people that are part of the face of the earth. All right. So, do y'all think Christ came for everyone? He came for everyone, right? That's what you've been told. Give me Matthew fifteen. For God so loved the world that He brought His only Son. We'll, we'll, we'll prove that. All right. Matthew fifteen and twenty four. You gotta know context. All right. Matthew fifteen and twenty four. Bring it up. Uh, Matthew 15, 24. Right. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Y'all listening? Y'all listen. Bring it up. Bring it up. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, Christ said he was sent for everyone. I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. For the so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the children of Israel. He was only sent for them. He wasn't sent for everyone. Alright? Give me Joel 2 and 27. Alright, because who is God the God of? Is God the God of everyone? Is God the God? That's what they've been teaching you in church, right? But it's not it's not in the Bible. I can promise you. Get Joel 2 and 27. Alright, bring it up. See what I'm not gonna do is just make up words and preach a bunch of vanity to you. I'm gonna read out of the Bible. Get Joel 2 and 27. Alright, Joel 2 and 27. Bring it up. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Right. And I am the Lord your God. Right. And none else. Y'all hear that? I ain't hear it. Bring it out again. Yeah, we gotta Joel 2 and 27. Right. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord your God. And none else. No, he's the God of everyone. And none else. No, he's God of every nation and every people. And none else. He's the God of Israel. And none else. 
He was never the God of everyone. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? And you said, so for, for God so loved the world, all right, that he gave his only begotten son. Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. I'm going to show you who the world was. The world is not mean the whole world. All right? It's, it's just not, when you go into the word world, it means cosmos in the Greek. You have to know what the Bible was translated. David was a descendant of Jesus. Right? Does it speak on him? You said what? David was a descendant of Jesus. Oh. And then there are other descendants throughout history. I mean, and what? There are other people. He was Israelite, wasn't he? But there are other people that come from different parts of either from Israel. It's never always been America. It's never always been. Yeah, it says we'll be scattered abroad among all people. Mm -hmm. But one of the main places we're going to be in is Babylon the Great. America. Where we put into slavery on ships that I just read to you. Get him out there 45% of All right. All right. Isaiah 45 and 17. Right. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So Israel's the only people that are going to be saved. All right. With an everlasting salvation. Can you read? Ye shall not be ashamed. Right. Nor confounded. Right. World without end. So that's the world in John 3 16 that the Lord is talking about. The Lord was never dealing with any everyone. He was only dealing with the children of Israel. He was only dealing with the Israelites of the Bible. All right. This Bible was only written for the Israelites. All right, give me Psalms 147 and 19. Who, who got the law, statutes, commandments? Did Moses get the laws and give it to everyone? Who did he get the commandments to? Y'all know? You know who, who Moses gave the commandments to? He was upon a mountain. And who did he get the commandments and give it to? Did he give it to the whole world? At this point, we're God's people. He said something. And who's God's people? The Israelites, right? You read this Psalms 147 and 19. All right, Psalms 1, uh, 147 and 19. Right. He showed his word unto Jacob. He did what? He showed his word unto Jacob. He shows his word unto Jacob. These All these scriptures are meant for the Israelites. All right? In the, in the embodiment of the word is Christ. All right? He showed his word unto Jacob. Right? You read? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he gave his statutes and his judgments unto the Israelites. All right, he didn't give his judgments and his statutes to everyone. He didn't give his commandments to everyone. Can you read? Number 20. He had not dealt so with any nation. No, he's dealing with everyone. God's, God, God loves everyone. He, he deals with everyone. He had not dealt so with any nation. He's not dealt with any other nation except the Israelites of the Bible. The people he put in chains. The people he cursed. The people he put over to a nation and said that you'll go over here and you'll never know who you are until the last days where I raise up prophets to tell you that. That's what you got to understand. You're a chosen people according to the Bible. And you got to wake up. All right? It's, it, it, the Lord, give me Romans 13 and 11. All right? Because all hell finna break loose, man. And that's just, I mean, you in Babylon the Great. This is a, this is America. You think America ain't going to have to pay for killing the so-called Native Americans and put African Americans in slavery? You think they just going to live? You think, if, if you really think they just going to be good forever? Come on, man. Those were God's chosen people that they did that to. One thing I do know. What? All hell is about to break loose. Right. It's because God is about to destroy the wicked. Right. 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 And save all the righteous. Right. Bring it up. Uh, said, uh, that's it. Uh, 13 and 11, right? Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11. Right. Heart, right. Man. right. And, you, and what you just said. Right. If you got God in your heart, you know he real. Mm -hmm. You got faith. You, you gotta have more than faith. You gotta keep the commandments. Yeah, you, you do, you do. You Alright, so what's the commandments. Do you eat pork? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's against the commandments. My stepdad, he must have eat pork. That's against the commandments. But that's part of the first test. Okay. But you ain't gotta keep that's, that's where the laws that. come from. You're not following that. All the laws are in the old testament. That was back in Moses' day. We're not following that. We don't y'all don't follow that no more? Yeah. Uh, that hold up, hold up, uh -oh. hold up. Okay, um, so this is this is the lies you've been taught. It's nowhere in the Bible. We have to head somewhere. Is it okay if I just pray for a second? No, you, then... no, 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 no. You don't pray out in the streets. Did you know, you read that Bible. You read that in the Bible. Matthew chapter five. I worship I mean, chapter God. Six. I worship God whenever and how I would like to, and that's just something. And that's not what the Bible says. The, the Bible says not to pray in, in front of people. Why would you pray in front of me to be seen in men? It's, the Bible says that. That's exactly when He teaches you how to. Get Matthew 6 and 5. Let's get the account. All right, and this is your this is the question you gotta understand, bro. This is John chapter 5 and verse 45. Listen to this, brother. Thank you for your time. Look, look, I do appreciate it. Look, you, you're taking him away from hearing the word. He's God chose the people. Oh, oh well, you guys chose the people, and you're gonna be destroyed if you don't come back and keep the commandments, man. You hanging next to your oppressor, and you're gonna be destroyed. There's no way around.
You, you, you would never pray for me. You're going to be destroyed. You, you, they don't understand. Get, look, brother, I'm going to show you through the spirit and the power. How about you know yourself? Listen to this. All right, this is John chapter 5, verse 45. All right, listen to this. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, whom, in whom you trust. For had you believed in Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my word? So if you don't believe in Moses' writings, how are you going to believe in Christ? You can't believe in Christ because uh, Moses taught him, right? And he taught him the commandments that you got to keep to get the king. All right? You got to understand that all this is prophecy in the last days. Give me um, Hosea 1 and 10. All right? Everything's happening, and, 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 you, and, and you got to hear this word because the Lord told you to hear this word. That brother had to walk off. This is the truth from the Lord. All right? You got to understand how deep this is, man. Hosea 1 and 10. You bring it up. All right. All right. Listen to this. Hosea 1 and 10. All right. And yeah, the number of the children of Israel right. shall be as the sand of the sea. Right. So the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, man. We, it's a lot of us, man. All right. We were scattered abroad. Right. In all these places right here. Can you read? Right. Can you read? And it shall come to pass. Right. That in, that, in that place where it in the place. You so called African American, you're most likely from the tribe of Judah. All right? And the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. All right? So it's going to be said that you're the sons of the living God. What I've been telling you, your people came into slavery on shit. We've been destroyed as a people. All right? Yeah. And, and, and it's different from what you've been told because you've been told a bunch of lies in the church. You've been told a bunch of things that wasn't in the church. All right? You're really God's chosen people according to the Bible. See, what I believe in. I want to hear it, brother. What I believe in. As long as you got faith and you believe in God and you know that he's real and he exists and, then, and you know that you got to repent for your sins and that you know that if you sin and you don't repent, you're going to be a hell of a for that. Right. I mean, that, that's, that's, but you got you to keep the command. To me, what is repentance from? What is repent? Repent is when you, 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 you pray to, you, you pray to uh, I mean, in my religion, we call our God Jehovah. Right. His, his real name is Yahweh. There's no J in Paleo. It's the same Hebrew. thing. That's Hebrew. Right. So in Paleo same Hebrew, thing. it's called it's, it's Yahweh. Yeah. It, it, it holds more weight. It's the same thing. It's called right. It's in, right, right here. Jehovah. In the Hebrew, Psalms 83, it's the name 83, of the Lord. Psalms Yahweh. 83, 18. Right. So this is the name of the Lord in Hebrew, in Paleo Hebrew, yeah. which the Lord spoke in. This is Yahweh. Yeah. The name of the, the Lord. Same thing. All right. So it's not the same thing because that's in the language. What Bible is It's that? in the Paleo Hebrew. This is the King James 1611. What uh, Psalms 83, 18 say? Jehovah, there is no letter. You know what does it say? Listen to this, brother. You know the letter J wasn't invented to the 1600s? All right, that's okay. But what right. Psalms 83, so his name, 18, can't 18, be, his name can't be Jehovah. What is Psalms 83, 18 say? I know what it says. What, his, tell me what it says. It says his name is Jehovah, but okay. you don't understand that's not his true name. If you, if it says it's Jehovah, do you follow that Bible? Brother, his name is Jehovah. Or do you follow some things? You have to know. That, okay, so you, the letter J wasn't invented to the 1600s, so his name is Jehovah. So, so the Lord came around in the 1600s and said his name was Jehovah. I'm just, it's Psalms 83, 18. You know what Brother, it says. You have to understand. I know in Paleo y'all Hebrew. know a lot about Y'all know, know more than me right. about the Bible. But no, and it's not but because of Psalms, us. It's because know, of the Lord. Exactly. But so, I know what Psalms 83, 18 says. But it's an English translation, brother, of the name, a, a name of the English Lord. Translation did did Christ speak English? Did, did, did the Most High speak English? That's what I'm trying to get to you, brother. He didn't speak English. He spoke in Hebrew. In the Hebrew exactly. tongue, how you say his name is, is Yahweh. Yahweh. Right. Okay. So that, that's how you, that's what you need to pray in. It, co it covers name. more. It covers but, more strength. But in English, it's translated Jehovah. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I, I can agree with you that, but you don't need to call him Jehovah because that's not we what you would name. call him in Hebrew in your language. If God says his name is Jehovah, that's what we. God didn't say his name was Jehovah. He said Psalms it was Yahweh. 
They you translated in English. Oh, it translated in English, brother. Jesus you got to get past this song, my brother. Jesus it, it, is Jehovah's son. But yeah, how would the, the Most High God did not speak in English, brother? That's the translation. So you have to know what was his name in the original language that he spoke to his people in. But what does translation mean? Oh, what do you mean? It's a translation in a different it's language. A translation make you understand what exactly it means. No, it's just a different language, a way to say something in a different language. It's like Jesus. Jesus is not how you say his name. It's Yahweh Shah. That's in the Hebrew. So you, it, we ain't gonna stay on. Hey, I'm gonna get this milk to you, brother. Listen, listen. That's the small listen, thing. Listen, listen. Look, listen. 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 I'm listening to you, brother. Uh, I'm not nearby here. But look, look, don't, 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 no, 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 because you gotta get I this say, I say it's part, bro. I gotta listen. I got a funeral. I gotta go to the lawn, so I gotta get home. And I gotta be early in the morning for this shit in Atlanta. But at the same time, how old are you? What? How old? That no, don't matter. No, brother. no. But how old? Are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's not bro, needed for edifying. We waste the time. We could be bringing out scriptures, bro. Bro, bro, bro. It, how old are y'all, guys? You, like, you, 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 it that doesn't matter. What does that got well, to do with? Well, no matter if tell you don't tell me or not, I respect both of y'all, brother, for what y'all believe in. You can and respect it. here with like people. They just walk past y'all. Like, bro, right. you see, we're not here for men. everyone. We here for you. Exactly. That's what you don't understand. But at the same time, you see two black men out here preaching the word about the Bible. You believe in something. Spiritual, you believe in the Bible, right? right. Most people don't want to hear that. But this is nowadays. the truth, brother. This is what you don't understand. This is the truth. The, the real truth is that your God's chosen people. The real truth I know is that you got to keep these commands. The real truth that you everyone can't be saved. That only your people can be saved. I see you, you keep your beard. Nah, I just grow this out for two yeah. months. I usually keep it clean shaved. Keep, no, don't keep it clean shaved. Grow your beard out. That's uh, in the Bible. Give me that. a little bit of They used to grow these beards out. Right. Grow your beard. That. Don't cut your that. beard. But at the same time, I mean. I'll, I just never go. Do you out. really? You, you, you said it. you repenting. What is repent? You ask for forgiveness for your sins. For your sins. And what is sin? Sin is when you mess up. When you first John 3 and 4. Give me first. When you first go against the Bible. When you go against no, the Bible. No, that's not it. First John 3 and 4. This is what so sin is. So you against one of the commandments. Is that, is that not a sin? Listen. This is what I'm going to say. Exactly. But it's not going so against, against the Bible. The it's, it's a specific what it's doing. Give me first John 3 I went against a commandment from the Bible. Right. So you're doing the same thing with your parents. Listen to this. Whosoever commit a sin, right. commit a sin, commit a sin, transgression also the law. Transgressive, transgressive. And what does that mean? Right. So whosoever commit a sin, like you said, that you repent for, transgressive also the law. For what? For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is transgressing the laws of the Lord. So it's a sin. You commit a sin by shaving your beard. You commit a sin by eating pork. You commit a sin. For what does all it these say things. that in the Bible? But go to Leviticus. You don't Leviticus say nothing about it. Right, Even in the old song books, you got the brothers wearing beards. They have beards longer than all Listen of us right now. Listen, it's in the Bible. I know beards. That's what it's they meant from. And that's what you're supposed to do. God don't put hair on our face for no reason. Right, so you're supposed to keep it. But the thing is, now the world they partake in that worldly beard. They make that a bad thing, and we want to stay away from that. So you got. So if you want to separate yourself from the world, when all these worldly people making, they they whole faces feel bears, they doing all this crazy you stuff. You should be doing that. You gotta separate yourself. Clean shame. Look, no, brother, that's not what the Bible says. You gotta keep the. You don't say neither, but Look. at the same time, you gotta use your judgment. Look, brother, no, you can't do that because you're serving the Lord. You're supposed to keep this command. Not just man, but I'm saying if you see most. In people, Leviticus 11 and 7. I'm gonna look, brother. Listen to this. Listen to this. I know you gotta go, but let me get a couple. Let me get one or two scriptures too. All right. So like, hold up. This is critical. Right? Hey, and at the same time, hey, on some real. Whenever y'all out here with the Bible and everything, y'all gotta let people know when y'all feeling that, man. <laughs> what? No, man. No, for real. For, uh, no. I'm sorry, hold hold on one second. Hold up. You getting off the subject? Y'all gotta let them know y'all feeling that. Man. Listen, brother. You getting off the subject? Hold up. Just saying. Let me find this. Right, so like, this is Leviticus. Um, Forty-three. Right, Leviticus chapter uh, nineteen and verse twenty-seven. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You got a tattoo? No. All right, you shouldn't I don't do that. Even tattoos. All right, you shouldn't be cutting your beard. You shouldn't cut the corners of your beard. You shouldn't mar the corners of your hair. You, gotta, get to you day, got a tape up right now. I don't want to hear, hey, man, you can't get in here because you got a tattoo. Tattoos? Was you born with that? 
listen to we this. We came bro. out the womb. Did we have tattoos? Exactly, brother. No. Okay, so was we cutting our beards when we came out the womb? No. Exactly. That's, that's, that's right here. And listen to this. Verse but at the same time. You shall not round the corners of your head. What you got? You got a shape up right now. Yeah. A Chris shape up. The, the Lord says you shall not round the corners of your head. I just got cut the other day. That's what the Lord said. You that's should the not. That's the only reason why I be messy other day. So you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> you shouldn't be rounding the corners of your head. These are all commandments. I'm just you getting a cut, man. You can't nice. do that. Why well, can't look nice? Look, brother, you'll look nice if you grew your hair out. you look nice if you had your beard grow I'm still growing my hair. You will look nice if you didn't shape up your hair. I did your, all that. Your hair going to naturally keep itself. I still don't have a shape. It's going to grow naturally. No, like you, you don't have to shape. You don't have to do that, brother. You can let yours grow out naturally because you're breaking the commandments of the Lord. What's more important for you, looking good or in the world or keeping the commandments of the Lord? That's part of the Old Testament. Yeah. We're not living I just told you you have to believe Moses. I just read John 5 and 45. I know. Hey, brother, hey, look. Listen, no, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. No, for, hey, get that Leviticus 11. No, 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 listen, man. We ain't got to do that. Look, we do. Listen, man. <laughs> no. Hey, no, for real, bro. Look, I live in the burn. I got to go. Look, all right, one Leviticus. last scripture. Yes, it is. Hey, but hey, Leviticus. Go. On the real. Thank God. Look, look. Y'all give me encouragement, don't, bro. Don't just thank me. You got to go do it. Exactly. I, I'm, that's not, what, I'm not that's nothing what, but a best for the Lord. That, don't thank problem. me. Thank the Lord. Don't thank me. I've been saying, I've been talking it, but I ain't been doing it. But now, don't I couldn't agree if we had to go to the club. That's right. y'all are here. I ain't right. doing that. Don't thank Bro, me. Bro, I need to do this. It's not nothing to me. It's not the Lord. Exactly. Don't thank me. Thank the Lord, man. Wait. But you got to go do this word, man. Get this from Leviticus 11 and 7. I'm, hold on. Let me get this last scripture. You got a YouTube? No, no, no. Get no, no. Leviticus 11 and 7. I Leviticus. Leviticus. I just moved back. 11 and 7. All right. I'm yeah. saying you got a you got a YouTube on your on your phone? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I can go YouTube. It's Flame and Fire Israel. If you ever get a chance. All right, go. It's uh, Leviticus uh, 11 and 7. Bring it up. And the swine, through the heat, devoured the hood. Divided the hood, right? The hood, and he clover footed. Clover footed. Right, so the swine is the pig. Though he divided the hoof and be clover footed, what did the Lord say? Yeah, he is uh, unclean. Unclean, not the show. Uh, what is that? There, 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 right here. He uh, oh, yeah, he chewed not the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's unclean. Read it again. Right. Yeah, he chewed not the cut. He's unclean. To you. Right, so the pig is unclean to you. Right? What did the yeah. Lord say? Can you read? Uh, uh, their flesh shall ye not eat. The Lord said, What? The, uh, of their flesh ye shall not eat. The Lord says, Of their flesh you shall not eat. And what else? And their carcass ye shall not touch. Right, you can't even touch a pig, man. <laughs> All right, so that's how the Lord has it set up, man. You can't be doing these things. It must say you can't eat. Go to um, Leviticus 11 and um, 9. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, wait, I'm going to finish up there. Right, finish it up. They are unclean to you. Right. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So these should you eat of all that are in the waters. All the food that's in the water. This is what the Lord going to tell you. What you can eat out of the waters. All right. Whatsoever have fins and scales. The Lord said whatsoever have fins and scales. Right, Kiri? In the waters. Right. In the seas. Right. In the rivers. Right. In all the bodies of water, whatsoever have fins and scales, what did the Lord say? Them shall ye eat. Right. You can eat those things. So you can't eat catfish because what? The catfish got uh, cat fins. Catfish. The catfish got fins, but it don't have scales. You can't eat shrimp, mussels. You can't eat uh, any of those things because they not. What, what did the Lord say? You got to have fins and scales. A shrimp don't have fins. You know, shrimp is like this. That's something new to me, man. Shrimp is like the roach of the sea because they don't teach <laughs> you the Bible. That's something new to me. It's because you turn out some shrimp, bro. right? Because they don't teach you the Bible. Pastor, Pastor Pork Chop ain't gonna tell you the truth out of this Bible, what man. Is that? It's Leviticus, it's Leviticus 11, eleven chapter. 11. Really, the whole eleven right. chapter you read. Yeah, I never heard of it. Hey. Right. Yeah. Look, brother. You know, you God's chosen people. You gotta come back and keep these commandments. We out here every Friday and Saturday. Right. You can see us out here, man. I and you move back from Florida, Florida, man. So I'll be here probably every other Saturday. Or all right. Yeah, Saturday. All right, but you got to be a doer of the word, man. You got to go out there and do this, man. You should be out here like us, man. You guys chosen people, man. Yeah. All right. This the fashion of this world passes away. Everything you care about, everything people now I'm trending on Twitter and Instagram, all this finna pass away, man. Right. It's all finna pass away, and all you gonna be left with is if you are gonna serve the Lord or not. So you know you gotta come serve the Lord. Get uh last last I'll scripture know. Romans thirteen eleven. You said yourself you was like. Man, I know it's about to be the end. I know it's yeah. end times. Get Romans 13 and 11. Right, right. So you got to. This is what they about to do. Knowing this, you got to get right. They about to turn the whole world on religion. And they going to take them out one by one. They going to turn on us. They going to turn on these Christians. They got too much followers. They going to turn, every, turn on the Israelites. Every religion. It, Israelite first, but you just see the man suiting in New Zealand. They already talking about, oh, 
it's because of the Muslims just happening. We need to go ahead and just mark them off. Right. I mean, it, look, it's, it's a time. They can get rid of religion look, first. That's where it's going to start. Man, Romans, they can get rid of all of it. You're Romans 13 and 11. Listen to this book. All right, Romans uh, 13 and 11. I mean, 12. You was like, that was it? Yeah, 13 and 11, right here. No, no, no. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. It's trying to get another one. Right, right. And then, knowing the time. Right, right, here you go. Uh, Romans 13 11. Right, bring it out. And knowing the, and that. And knowing and that, that. Knowing. Read it again. This is and that. Knowing the time. And that. Knowing the time, man. You just said it's all hell about to break loose. This land, Babylon, the grace, is going to be punished for its sins. Yes, and that knowing the time, what did the Lord say? That, no, no, now. It, now it is high time. To awake out of sleep. The Lord said, "Now it is high." Days. The Lord says, "Now it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. To wake the hell up. Yep. Did you? We not to, you. What do you think? Man? I'm Most not here teaching you the truth. Place, you gotta wake up into God's chosen people, man. Most you gotta wake up. You gotta keep these commandments because you're in the last days. Can you read? For now is our salvation nearer than when we be believe it. Right. So now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. The prophets is waking up. We are here waking up, speaking the truth. We didn't go to no damn classroom for this and take PowerPoints. The Spirit of the Lord the came upon us, man. The Spirit of the Lord came upon us for you to tell tell you this, man. That you guys chosen people and that your people went through hell, man. All because of the Lord put them through. But we got a chance to come back and serve them in truth and sincerity. But you got to do it before the end, man. All right, two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed. All right. Well, little did you know right. what y'all out here doing right now. This is exactly what I needed in my life right now. Right. But that's all praise so, to the Lord. Exactly. Right. So, hey, look. I, I, hey. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hey, sorry. Look, you good, brother? Hey, no, for real. I needed this, like, for real, for real. Right. I just moved back from Florida. I came in a hard situation. I needed to hear this type of person. Right. We got two African American men. No, we ain't African American. We Israelites. That's what we're telling you. Bring, bring out that last scripture for this. Is, Bring out the end of that. We already started. I just want to edit up. We got two black men. Oh, yeah. So called black this, men. We Israelites. This type of we're black. We can okay. Black. Black. We can say black. We Israelites. The, the night is far spent. The night is far spent. All the darkness of this world is finna come to an end. All right? The night is far spent, man. All right? The darkness is finna lead this world, man. All right? Can you read? The day is at hand. The day, which is symbolic for Yahweh Shah. Christ coming back and destroying all these nations and putting them in the captivity under the Israelites is coming, man. All right, he's gonna rule with our. He's gonna. We're gonna rule with a wild iron if it be our will, man. All right. So all these other nations gonna be in captivity under us. That's what you gotta understand, man. The Lord says, "He that leadeth them into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword." They gotta pay for what they did to God's chosen people. You think the Lord is gonna let them get away with that? No. All right. So the Lord's got, the Lord said it's gonna happen. Can you read? Let us therefore cast off workers of darkness. You gotta cast off the works of darkness, man. You gotta cast off trying to be somebody in the world, trying to down. But you gotta come into this truth and, and, and with all your might and your soul, man. You can't be out there trying to play both sides, trying to be lukewarm, trying to be in the world and coming out here trying. No, you gotta come and turn over to the Lord, man. Cast off the works of iniquity. Cast off cutting your beard. Cast off lining up your your head. Cast off eat shrimp and eat swine. And come keep the commandments of the Lord and keep the holy days of the Lord. Cast off celebrating Christmas and all this nonsense that's nowhere in the Bible and keep the days that the Lord told you to keep. Passover, all right? Feast of Tabernacles, Purim, all the things that the Lord told you to keep and not these heathen holidays, man. All right? You got to come back and turn, and turn it to the Lord in truth and sincerity all the way. He read? It says, and let us put on the armor of light. The Lord said, put on the armor of light. Get Proverbs 6 and 23. You got to put on the armor of light, man. What is the armor of light? You got to have these commandments, these laws, and these statutes from the Lord. All right? You got to put on the armor of light and cast off the works of darkness because the darkness of this world is going to be over with. Now, this is the last scripture I'm going to get to you, brother, and you can head out. Proverbs 6 and 23. 6 and 23, not 16. 6 and 23. All right? So you got to put on the armor of light, brother. All right? You got to take off that darkness and put on the armor of light. And this is the light right here, man. All right? You got to keep these commandments. Proverbs 6 and 23. All right, bring it up. Proverbs 6 and 23, bring it up. All right. <clears throat> For the commandments is a lamp. Right, so the commandments is the lamp, man. You got to put on the armor of light, and the commandments is the lamp. How you doing, brother? Come in the word of the Lord. 
Come in the word of the Lord. Hey, you just gonna ignore me, man. You gotta say it, say it. Keep reading. And the and the law is is a light. The Lord said what? And the law is light. So the commandment is the light, and the law is the light. The, that's what you gotta put on, brother. You gotta put on the armor of light, man. You gotta be keeping these commandments, these laws, and these statutes, man. Keep reading. And reproof of. Instruction. Instruction right, so on you gotta, the way of life. So reproof of instructions on the way of life. A lot of brothers I'm telling you things like I'm telling you, they'll be like, man, you can't tell me nothing. I'm a grown ass man. I do whatever the hell I want to. But these words ain't coming from me. It's coming from the Lord. All right? Yeah. So you got to make that change for the Lord. Yeah. It ain't nothing coming from me. It's, the Lord just using me as a vessel to tell you what he's telling me. All right? But ain't not one word. I ain't, I ain't told you nothing that's not out of this Bible exactly. tonight. That's right. what I appreciate because most people that right. be that they talk all the real, sweet words, they be talking, but they right. don't never pull out the right. Bible. They don't never pull out the scriptures because right. they, they, they don't want to pull out the scriptures. Pull out the Bible. Right? They don't want to pull out the scriptures because they don't want you to know who you are. Exactly. You go into these scriptures, they gonna be like, they gonna have to explain. They be looking confused. Right? They gonna have to explain that God's chosen people went into slavery on ships. They gonna have to explain that everyone ain't equal. That you over all people. That we not Africans. That we not none of those things. Most of the people that be out here like that. White people, they have these speakers and you know, right. microphones. Right, man. Pre and spreading a bunch of BS, like, man. All right, they don't love you, man. Oh, all right, God, we God. really love our brothers. We out here, we ain't got no damn. That's why I we ain't got no damn hey, money bucket. I want to say, I, pr right. I appreciate y'all. Right. That's why I we, said for the exactly. hey, we, right. I appreciate y'all, man. Right. For real. Right, it's all for you. We ain't got no money bucket. We ain't trying to collect no money. We out here, out here for you. They teach you this truth and sincerity. We out here for Friday and Saturday, man. You better come back. Usually, usually I would have to put my name in the call uh, by now. Yeah, man. But, hey, all praises. Y'all give me a curse. All so. praises, man. All praises, man. You make it up. All right. All praises, man. Yeah, we are here every Friday and Saturday. You need to come back, man. I'll be Friday and next Saturday. Friday. I'll be out here next Saturday. All right. All praises. I'm holding you to that. All praises, man. See, Jake waking up. Y'all be saying, man. All right. We're going to bring out a whole nother barrage of scripture to you next time. All right. All, right. all praises, man. All, I have a couple of all right. All praises to y'all. How about shooting y'all shot, man? All right. All right. All praises, man. Jake waking up, man. We stay here all night. Jake, you know, through all the BS, Jake hearing the word, man. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. All right? And Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. And Kwam Yasharal. Kwam Yasharal. Redemption coming soon. Won't be long before we split the seas again. And we all go back home. Stay strong. Keep enduring. Yasha Allah Hamashiach. Could we follow every minute, second hour? Giving praises to the Father. There's a spirit deep inside of you. Every day is guiding you. Bringing all things to remembrance. 